Hey guys, today we're going to turn this uh, cat litter box into a vermi composter uh, that I'm going to put in my garden bed. Stay tuned. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to turn this uh, cat litter box in a uh, vermi composter. I mean, we already have, um, you know, we've been experimenting with that for a few years, you know, um, could have put a picture here. We have what's called a garden tower, which essentially has all these layers and, and in the middle there's a tower that you put, um, you know, a channel that you put uh, kitchen scraps and stuff and, and, and create compost with it. And uh, we decided, my wife and I, that uh, we would try to do that in our garden beds. Why not, right? You can buy those commercially. That's why, you know, I'm thinking I'm not inventing anything here. So um, we're going to turn this into a vermi composter. So essentially what we're going to do with this thing, um, we're gonna I'm gonna leave the cover on for for the installation in the garden bed right so we're gonna open it put kitchen scraps and uh, brown material you know bedding whatever you know uh, I'll do a follow-up when we put them in because uh, currently outside there's a foot of snow <laughs> you know, so I don't have access to my beds all right so when we put it in I'll show you how we start it up um, I have six raised beds and I have one uh, bigger um, uh, Vigo Garden, uh, you know, um, raised bed, four by four by eight. So this one probably is going to take two of these, and I'm going to put one in my other beds, which are three by six and kind of an L-shaped configuration. Whatever. If I need to be, build more, I'll build more. You know, it's no no big deal. All right. So the whole concept here is that we want to have this uh, kind of. Uh, container that will hold the soil around right but that will allow worms to come in and 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 do their thing with the um, with the kitchen scraps and things and and leave casting around so that we can you know use that to uh, you know uh, enrich the beds right so couple of consideration uh, we need to have that easily accessible to the worms so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to remove the bottom of the bin. Uh, second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drill holes all around, you know, probably like uh, 5 eighths, 3 quarter inch, something like that, maybe less. I'll see when when we get there. I mean, you're following along, right? And I'm going to put a, in this area here, I'm going to put smaller holes for aeration, all right? So that it doesn't get too warm, so warm that, you know, it becomes dangerous. I don't think that's going to be an issue because I'm going to probably bury it to this level, level, right? So, you know, let's start cutting and drilling. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the cover just so that I have easier access to everything, all right? And if you followed my channel before, you know that I've transformed a bunch of these into my, uh, many of my hydroponic systems, you know, so... I'm just going to uh, repeat again how you take the cover off. You just take a big screwdriver, drive it in so that you release the little tab that's in the back. You do that for both sides, all right? Because you see, the issue with that cover here is that it latches on to this little lip here in the back. And as you take the screwdriver and you put it in, you're essentially raising the the cover from the the lip, you know. Easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna remove the handle, and to do that, I'm just gonna take my um, oscillating sawyer. I'm just gonna cut it, you know, right, cut right where it meets. Okay, and then the knob will fall off, you know, the inside, right? Easy. Right. 
There are many ways to get the bottom off, okay? I could probably take my table sawyer and just saw it, obviously with the fence. Um, this is soft. I don't know that it's the safest thing to do, but obviously I have this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in from inside and just go through, okay? All right, now obviously the curve and the width of the blade does don't work very well. So what you do is that you put it in there and, f and I'm gonna follow it from the outside here. Right, so I just have this little, that's why I use this one, which is more like a T-shape. So that way I can come in and, and finish, the, finish the corner. All right, done. I mean, obviously it makes no difference, you know, if it's uh, sharp or whatever, you know, I'm probably going to give it a little bit of a, you know, softening with a blowtorch or something just to keep the kind of edge off. But that's pretty much the bulk of the work. Now what I need to do is just put some holes in the bucket. All right, just to show you closer, uh, this is what I'm doing, all right? I'm just putting aeration holes um, around this whole rim, all right? Right, all pierced all around, okay, for the for the air. Now, what that does, though, it leaves it um, kind of a, you know, raised surface here. So I'm going to take a sander, knock these off, and uh, that should do the trick. All right, so I brought you in closer so you can see what I'm going to do next here. I don't know if you can see there's like a little pattern that is molded in the plastic all right probably to get more uh, rigidity out of it i suppose but i'm going to use this pattern here to drill my next holes all right so you know use what you can all right so what i'm going to do three quarter inch uh spade drill bit and like I told you before, I'm going to follow a pattern that I have inside the plastic here so that it's somewhat straight, right? All right, guys, so even though I started with the spade bit, it, uh, it's way too aggressive and it's breaking the plastic. So I switched to my uh, step drill, okay, which you've seen me use to do my, uh, uh, my other systems, you know, my uh, dirt bucket and all that, you know, this is, I don't know why I didn't do this first, but I'm finishing with this and uh, the holes are looking pretty nice. Okay, again, for all, except for those things, which I'm going to, get rid of with uh, sanding and a little heat, all right? All right, and now that we're done with uh, this thing here, put the cover back on. And those are the two little lip that I was telling you about, all right? So here we go, all right, so, the holes here are big enough so that worms can move in and out of the bed without in, um, into the bucket, out to the bed, all right, and vice versa. The bottom is open, which means that if I decide to move this, you know, I'm going to just take it off and all the case casting, uh, the, uh, the worm casting are going to stay where they are and then I can just mix that up, all right. 
So yeah, that, you know, the biggest thing is having those buckets because otherwise, you know, it's pretty simple to, to assemble. I would say maybe these holes are not necessary. Don't know that these are either. All I know is that when I'm looking at commercial system, they do have them. So figure why not? You know, it's just a little bit of time and uh, seven more to go. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So I hope this is helpful for you. I will definitely do a video when we put those into the bed and show you how to uh, start them. And um, yeah, give me a like and uh, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.